Hey guys, it's Heather from Calva Plan, and today I'm going to be showing you guys six of my favorite brush markers to use in your planner. I'm going to be showing it first just on this handwriting paper, and then I'll pull out an actual planner sheet so that y'all can see what it looks like um, actually in a planner. So when you want a brush letter in your planner, my biggest tip is to get a brush marker with a small tip because planner spaces, the boxes, they're not very big. And so if you, if you were to grab like a Tombow dual brush, this is a really big tip and you're not going to be able to really write words in a planner box because you have to write pretty big to use this marker. So all of these markers that I'm going to be showing y'all today have smaller tips, which makes them really, really good to use in planners. So I have six different pens that I'm going to use y'all today use y'all today, show y'all today. And I'm going to be showing y'all just using, um, one of these handwriting practice pages. I highly recommend ordering one of these books from Amazon. It's just full of practice pages and it's a great place to practice your lettering. So the first marker I want to show y'all is one of my favorites. I don't know if you can read what it says, but it says Pentel sign brush. This is, or sign pen. This is the Pentel sign pen. It has a, a small tip. Okay. And it's really good for brush lettering. So, oops, this is actually not the brush one. So this is actually a really common mistake. I'm actually kind of glad <laughs> that I showed this because this pen looks super similar to the brush pens. So I'm gonna grab, I know I have it in other colors. So this is actually the brush pen. See, it looks really similar, but there is a difference, okay? This one is not a brush pen. I will link in the description which one is a brush pen so that you're sure to get the right one because this is not the right one. This is the right one, okay? And to see the difference when you're looking at the tip, you could see that this one, the tip is like right up next to the silver. And this one, you have like the blue and then kind of a little clear thing and then the tip. This is a brush marker, okay? So you want the brush marker so that you get that upstroke versus downstroke. So this is the Pentel brush and it's one of my favorites because it has, especially for your planner, because it has such a small tip that it just makes it really easy to write small words in your planner. So I'm gonna write Pentel sign brush pen. And then I will show you guys in a little bit also how this looks in your planner. So that's the first one that I love. The next one that I love, this is called the Prismacolor uh, brush marker. I don't know if, I know these are available at Michael's. I don't know if they're available anywhere else. So I will try to link them where you can purchase them online. But if you, if I can't find anywhere then I know that they have these at Michael's, this was actually, um, recommended to me years ago by Jana Wilson, who's one of the designers at the happy planner. She told me that this is the one that she uses. And so I picked it up and it was one that really helped me get the hang of brush lettering. Cause again, it has a fairly small tip. Now it is a bigger tip than the Pentel brush. So you can kind of see the difference there. The Pentel brush is much smaller. If you are just starting out to brush lettering, I really suggest using a smaller tip because it helps you to learn control and pressure um, and things like that. So this tip is a little more flexible, which is fun once you learn how to handle that flexibility because you can get thicker downstrokes. You can kind of see if you compare this to this, my downstrokes are thicker, okay? So this one is called Prismacolor. Okay, and this video, I am just showing you my favorite markers. I'm not going into um, all of the details of how to brush letter. I do have some videos on that. I'm also starting to do some in-person classes. Um, I have one in Dallas on March 1st, but it's sold out. I have one in the Houston area on March 27th. So you could definitely check that out if you're in the Houston area and I plan to have more soon. So this one is one I really love. I'm not sure how to say the name of it. So I'm just going to show you. 
It's called a letter pin from this company. And the way it works is you actually purchase the pin separately from the holder. And again, I will link in the, in the description because it is possible to buy the wrong pin because I did that multiple times. I kept buying one that was just a regular pin and not a brush tip. And you really want the brush tip one like this. It has a really small tip. I'm trying to get it to focus. Okay. Um, this one is really good for planners. It's kind of hard to see here because I had to write so big. But if I were to write smaller, then you can kind of see... It's really good for writing tiny, which you kind of have to do in a planner. So I really, really like that one as well. This one is called the Kokoro. I have no idea how to say it, but that is how you spell it. Okay. The next one, I love this brand. This is from Kelly Creates. Kelly is a lettering expert and she sent me these markers last year and they're some of my favorites they are similar to a tombow foodie but i think they have a little more flexibility which makes them really good i just love that one and it comes in a pack of multiple colors i know you can get them at michael's um but i know you can also get them online so i will link them online this is her brush marker. She has several different types of markers. And then the last two pens I want to show you are both Tombow Foodie pens. One is a hard tip and one is a soft tip. So this pink one is a hard tip, okay? Which the hard tip makes it where it's you have to press down a little bit harder on your downstroke. So you kind of have to get used to that tip because to get a thick downstroke, you have to press down harder. And then this one is a soft tip, which means you don't have to press down. Also, you could tell this is an old one. The ink is kind of drying out. Normally the ink is better on this, but obviously this is an old one. So don't judge it based on the ink. Okay, I've had that one a long time. So this is a Tombow. Foodie for short because nobody knows how to say the full word. This was the hard tip. And this was the soft tip. So these are my six favorite pens to use in my planner. If I had to rank them from my favorite to my least favorite for a planner, I would probably say the Pentel is my favorite for a planner, followed by the Tombow and the Kelly Creates. And then Prismacolor is probably my least favorite for a planner, just because it is a thicker brush. You can kind of see this is a little bit thicker than all the other ones, which is harder to do when you start writing really small. So this is probably my least favorite. This is my most favorite. So favorite, these are probably tied for third. I'm sorry, first, tied for second, third, last, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I have a planner spread over here that I created and I already wrote here where I wrote this was using one of these um, touch pens. But here I wanna just show you guys how you can use these to write really small in a planner because the tips are really good. So here I could say, um, I'm just gonna make stuff up here because this is for a future week and I have no idea what I'm actually gonna be doing this week. So this tip is so small that it's easy to write. in this small space. Okay, if I tried to do that with in this small space with this Prismacolor, I probably would not have room, okay? Um, then I could go over here and I could, this is the Kelly Creates, so I could write the word chores
Okay, and then this is the Tombow Soft. So the Tombow Soft is really, really similar to this Kelly Creates one. The color is a little bit di different. I think the Tombow is a little bit of a darker black. Okay, but then let's like let's say if I took this prism color, okay, and if I tried to write something, let's say where I'm gonna try to do it in this box, you can see because the tip is bigger, it's harder for me to get a fine upstroke with this thick of a brush. So like if you look here, you could see my upstrokes are thinner. But here they're not because it's just a thicker brush okay but it still works I could still write small enough but it just looks a little bit differently D a little bit differently a little bit different um so right here this is another small one this one I would say has a pretty stiff tip and so you get more of like the same it's kind of harder to get a downstroke with this with this marker. I think that's why it's in third place for me out of all of these. It is really fun to write within a planner, but you don't really get that downstroke. You can kind of see that it's all the same size. And even when you press down, it just doesn't really give you a downstroke, but it's still a really fun brush pen to use. So those are just my personal current favorite brush pens. I hope this helps lets you know which ones you should purchase. I will put links in the description for all of these in case you want to check any of them out. They will be affiliate links. That means if you choose to use the link, then I could earn a small commission, but it won't add anything to your total. So if you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.